Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm doing an unboxing of Dawn of Battle by Worthington Publishing, Publishing designed by Mike Nagel. This is a um, uh, Ancients through uh, more modern, <laughs> medieval, I guess Ancients through medieval battle game. Again, from Worthington Publishing. It's designed for two players. I'm not sure how well it will play solo. Um, solitaire suitability is low in this one. The complexity is, is right at medium, about 60% is how they rate it. I think, I think one of the, one of those, as I was looking at, one of the harder problems with this is these uh, cards um, that are used in the game make it a little harder for solo. But some people do play it and then compare results to uh, the realistic, you know, the, the actual results and, and then, you know, judge themselves accordingly. Uh, but you know what? Any any war gamer worth the salt is going to be able to play uh, as long as there's no hidden information in these cards. Um, is going to play you know true solo against you know both playing both sides. So uh, let's let's crack it open. See what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. <laughs> All right, I have to say I love the, the so far the design of the cover and what I saw from the map uh, on the back is, uh, is very nice. I do like the way it was laid out. Obviously these are great artwork. I assume these are original for the game and it's very well done. All right, here we go. Dawn of Battle. Got a rule book. Dawn of Battle is a two-player tactical war game depicting battles that occurred over a span of three millennia from ancient Egypt up to the early adoption of gunpowder on the battlefield. So we come way forward, being past uh, medieval. In order to simulate so vast period, the game examines units and tactics in a general and generic manner while still attempting to accurately portray battles as they did or might have occurred. Given the generic nature of Dawn of Battle, it is not intended on a thesis on ancient to early gunpowder combat, rather its intent is to provide an accessible means of studying a broad period of history in relatively short chunks. The rules are organized into broad topics that roughly follow the sequence of play. Each topic is organized numerically, with more specific details organized into numbered subcases to make it easier for players to find answers to questions that might arise during play. Players are encouraged to read through the rules prior to play to get a sense of how the game is played. It's always good. It's not necessary to memorize the rules as the game is quite straightforward, so memorization will come as the game is played. Designer notes, Dawn of Battle is an evolution of my Ancient Battles Deluxe game published by Victory Point Games, and that game was an evolution of Ancients by Bill Banks, published by Good Industries, 3W and One Small Step. The debt of gratitude that I have with Bill and these individual publishers is immeasurable. So this, continu this continues the tradition of Worthington Publishing, uh, kind of you know, like re redesigning um, these games that were victory point games through you know, obviously through the help of the through the original uh, uh, designers and developers um, so we've seen um, in magnificent style we've seen uh, they've got levy and mass they've got a couple of the uh, you know the states of siege games so it's nice to see these uh, victory point games finding uh, new life here with Worthington publishing that's very cool so looking at the rulebook it is a, it's only a 20 page rule book. And we start out with a description of the cards, description of the units, um, details on the various unit types. And then from there, it proceeds to mostly a lot of dense text. Um, there are examples of various rules, but they're all in yellow text boxes instead of being actually um, you know, visual examples. That's probably to keep the uh, space down. Worthington does do usually uses really small rule books, and this probably could have used um, a little bit extra um, to to give more uh, where necessary uh, visual examples. I mean, obviously we have one here for Arc of Fire because it's more of a visual. But they've they've been very kind of stingy. I think um, I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying you know that's how I would describe it. Is is they had limited space, and so. Um, they didn't add a lot of graphics for uh, description. I mean, excuse me for uh, clarification. So the rules go through page 14, and then you got 
information on the events. And then these are supplementary rules. And then there are uh, and then there are rules for um, designing your own scenarios and the different scenarios that are in the game. And an example of how to design a scenario. So we've got scenario book volume one, which kind of promises that a volume two will be coming out or be somewhere else in the box, we'll see. And this is a 40 page book and it tells you all the, how to set up your battle. You get your order of battle for each side and then where things go on the map. A little bit of the history, uh, the background of the, of the battle. So this book goes from this one goes from 1046 BC and the last battle in the book is 1298 AD Battle of Falkirk so that's where this one goes this is William Wallace We've got William Wallace versus Edward the first Battle of Falkirk 1298 AD I beg pardon, sire. Won't we hit our own troops? Yes. But we'll hit theirs as well. We have reserves. So it looks like it's a low counter density in a lot of, a lot of the battles, which is kind of kind of kind of nice. And then we've got two cardstock um, clear aids. Let me get it out here. These are identical, sturdy coated cardstock. We've got melee combat results, class of class, try English clash of shields table, vector diagram, front of unit, plus one, plus two, attacking from behind to the side, flanking action cards, dice color key, and sequence of play. Effects for elephants. Roll well, one through six. Number seven is eat peanuts. And then we got our counters. So let's pull out our counter sheets here. There's all, that's the board. There's not a lot of counter sheets. That's kind of nice. And they're like freely punching. They're self punching as you pick them up. They're just gonna fall right out. Look at that. They're just coming right out easy. So we got red versus blue. The Dawn of Battle counter by Worthington. And then you got the Red Camp. So it is kind of interesting, it's generic, generic -y counters. So we've got heavy infantry, light infantry, and the light infantry can be in the 1200s or the light infantry can be in the, you know, 1000 BC. Uh, it's, this is just light infantry. This is your light infantry, your heavy infantry, your heavy cavalry, so on and so forth. So um, looks to me, as though red and blue just looking are identical you get the same um, same units available to use in quantity you know for each side because you know it's basically here's your here's your your set of figures and we're going to put them together in the battles you know grab two of your light infantry and four of your light infantry kind of like that so that's one one sheet and then we've got another sheet here of more there are camps which you'll see on the map sheets where your camp's going to be if you have one um, so that plays an effect and you got all the different kind of counters and leaders they are pre-rounded and like i said they punch very easily they are very thick good quality elephants all right, and then we've got our board. Game board is a mounted board. Yay for mounted boards. And it's a big board, big hexes. It's just an empty battlefield, so we're not gonna bother exploring it completely, but it's just, you got your center hex, and all, you can see that in all the map, uh, scenario maps, the center hex. It's a vertical board. So two by four. We can get it to unfold correctly here. I'm making a mess of things. 
Yep. There we go. And then on it, you've got the uh, the top section there has some of your charts. Very, very large print. Unit size, movements, light units, elephant effect table, army panic track for both sides, a reference to your facings, um, and then the turn track is noted on there as well. And then, you know, just a very simple uh, four by two panel mounted board. And then here we've got one of these trays that Worthington is getting known for. A uh, nice covered tray usually sits in the box. And in this, we've got our two decks of cards, one for red, one for blue. And then baggies for storing extras, standees for the leader counters, and then some yellow cubes, and some red cubes. And the one thing I do not see, oh, Taking a cue from Combat Commander, the dice are on the cards. I say Combat Commander. There's plenty of other games that have the dice on the cards. Uh, many games do that to keep it from being too swingy. But I did see a note in the rules that say you can use real dice if you want to. So, you got melee results. We've got a red die and a white die, and a blue die, and a black die, and a white die. So, they're in order by the die, rolls up to the sixes. We got our melee results tables, which are different on each card. So that's pretty cool. And then, then we've got various events, perspiration. Discard this card at the beginning of the melee cycle to add one to all of your melee attack rolls. Command plus two, on up through command plus zero or command plus three. Lower die values give more command points. I'm seeing strong backs discard this card to allow an archer unit to extend its range by one hex. This looks really cool. I mean, this this might actually get me interested in <clears throat> some of the more ancients ancients games. So, if you pick up a copy of Dawn of Battle by Worthington Publishing, you are going to get this very cool tray with a lid, two decks of cards, one for each side, a set of yellow cubes, a set of red cubes, baggies, standees or uh, <clears throat> standy uh, holders. That fits in your bottom of your box. You're gonna get that really cool mounted uh, 34 by 20, <coughs> excuse me, 34 by 22 mounted map. You're gonna get four sheets of counters, two for red, two for blue. Two player reference cards, scenario book, Volume 1, 40 pages, and 20 pages of rules, kind of dense, but hopefully, like it says, you don't have to read all the rules all the way through, you'll learn it as you play, and that's everything that comes in Dawn of Battle, designed by Mike Nagel, and this edition, produced by Worthington Publishing. Thank you so much for watching, God bless you, bye-bye. Oh!